Hello everyone, it is James in Japan. I'm going to show you how to set up a Bitflyer account if you live in Japan. This is the homepage for Bitflyer. It says bitflyer.com Japan. It's in Japanese. To the right you have login, which means login. And this is for opening a new account. And there's English, so let's click on that. That's better. How to get started, service, fees, security, support. I'm just going to show you how to set up an account. So here, it says create a free account, your email address, and then press sign up. So I already have an account, so I'm just going to make up an email address. I'll call it James bit flyer at gmail.com now this is not real okay so this is not a real email don't even try sending an email to this address because I'll never get it okay then you enter sign up okay as you can see it says confirmation email sent to the address now unfortunately I won't be able to see it because that was a fake email address so you just follow the instructions over here so once you go into your email you'll see an email from Bitflyer you're going to type in the confirmation code here and then proceed that's it note you will need to upload proof of residency so that is your Zydeo card and maybe some other documentation but I'm pretty sure you need the residence card for tax purposes so once everything is set up I'll show you my page now obviously I'm not going to show you my private details but you have buy and sell over here exchange bitflyer lightning you can just look through it yourself you need to deposit Japanese yen into your account under total assets you need to fund your account. So how do you do that? There are different ways to do it, but I am going to show you how to do it the easy way. But there's some commission involved. Just go to your nearest Japanese konbini, convenience store. That's it. And make sure you download the app onto your phone, either for iOS or Android. I'm going to show you that in a moment. Okay, here you have your account ID and account information to the right over here in order for this to actually work in order for you to have an active account all these have to be green okay just follow the instruction and then once you fund your account then the fun begins you can buy a whole bunch of cryptocurrency you can always withdraw and have the money deposited to your account, that's fine. Now let me show you the app. You're looking at Bitflyer on my iPhone. So I'm going to select this. At the top, you'll have your name and your account number. Press home. Here I've hidden my total assets and the profit and loss. Okay, and here's a QR code for scanning but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to show you exactly how to fund your account. So looking down at the bottom, you see funds. Click that. Now I'm not going to show you the top information. It'll reveal my accounts so you can add your bank. So if it's um, Mizuho or Mitsui Sumitomo, you just add that account. You can go to the convenience store and at the bottom of this app, you will see JPY, Japanese Yen, deposit through convenience store. So there's a commission fee of 330 Yen each time you do that. However, if you have a bank account at um, SBI, Net Ginko, the deposit is free. So just look at the app. Now I'm going to select this button. It shows you exactly what to do. From this picture you go to a 24-hour convenience store in Japan deposit your money and then 
your Bitflyer gets funded. Okay, here you will indicate how much you want to deposit into your account. Here you select the convenience store, so press that. And here it's in Japanese. You can deposit money at Lawson or Ministop, Family Mart, Daily Yamazaki, or at Seiko Mart. I'm going to use Lawson because that's my favorite place to buy lottery tickets. <laughs> so I'm going to select this. Okay. And over here it says Lawson or Mini Stop. Okay. So you just select whichever convenience store you want to go to. You must be careful. Okay. Don't, um, if you select Lawson Mini Mart and then you go to, for example, Family Mart to do this transaction, it won't work. So make sure you select the exact convenience store you want to deposit your funds. Okay, once you do that, you're going to indicate how much you want to deposit. Let's say it's um, 5,000 yen. Okay, minus 330 yen. Is that okay with you? I would recommend depositing more than 5,000 yen. I mean, it doesn't make sense if you deposit a thousand yen, you lose 330 yen. So the more you deposit, the more it makes sense. Okay, then select this because you need this. Do you see this next? It's not highlighted. Uh, you need to read this and then select this button. I acknowledge that the amount deposited by a quick deposit cannot be withdrawn for a period of seven days. Okay, does that make sense? So select that, select next. This is the QR code that you need to scan. Okay, let's go to Lawson. I'm approaching a Lawson right now. I'm going to deposit money into my BitFlyer account. This is the BitFlyer app again. Make sure you select the convenience store. I'm going to Lawson. And this is the amount I'm going to deposit. Press next. Wait for the QR code and get the machine to scan this QR code. Let's go. Press this button to scan it. This is my QR code and it needs to be scanned here. So I have to pay 330 yen commission. Press height. Take the receipt. Okay, I have to pay this within 30 minutes. So you pay this at the cashier. Okay, I did it. So I actually forgot the procedure. You have to scan it at the loppy machine, which is this little pink machine that uh, you buy your lottery tickets at. QR code on the Bitflyer app. It is a special QR code that's linked to only your account. So don't worry, okay? Always get the receipt and verify it. Okay, so this is my customer receipt. 5,330 yen, 330 yen was the commission. So go into your app now, select history, and there it is, today's date, March 2nd. Let's head back to my place.